Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mason and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2015 MY16 Outlander XLS. Now this is a four wheel drive model, so it isn't just your standard two wheel drive. So it does come with a few added benefits. Um, but what we'll do is actually run through some of the condition on the outside as well as some of the features that does come in this model. Now, as you can see, starting on the front and you've got that a modern dynamic shield look that Mitsubishi has gone for in their newer cars. So the look of the car actually hasn't changed to the newer models, which is good to know that you're getting an updated looking car. You're not getting a slightly older car. Although it is a 2015 MY16, you're still getting the newer look. Now you've got the dynamic shield chrome plates on the outside. You've also got that nice chrome finish in the middle there with the Mitsubishi badging centered right in the middle. Now that blends in quite nicely to the headlights and you've got that nice sharp design. It does have daytime running lights that do run through the bottom of the car. It does provide that extra visibility in in the daytime for the other drivers. You've also got a nice projector globe in there which is going to give you that nice clear cut line of dispersion of light and you've got your indicator lamp mounted into the middle. Fog lamps also come fitted in the front bar. Now as you can see this car is in the iron bar colour. It is quite a rare colour, we don't see many of these so it is definitely a good opportunity for you to take advantage of quite a unique car. Um, now with this colour one thing I do recommend is you talk to us about our glass coat because as I mentioned it is a quite a unique colour, you do want to protect it and preserve it and keep it looking like this as much as you can. Now taking a look at that first alloy, you've got, uh, alloy, sorry, you've got a stunning multi-spoke design, um, it's got that polished and aluminium look on the outside with that gunmetal finish on the inner spokes of the rim and again striking design it's not like the newer cars so it is slightly different again there you've also got plenty of tread on these tires I'm pretty sure they're brand new at the time of this video now what when the car is locked the side mirrors do fold in you can unlock it with the key and it is going to fold out nice and uh, easy. You've also got the color match side mirrors and door handles that blend in quite neatly with the car. Uh, indicator lamp is fitted into the side mirror that does elevate the lamp but also clear up this quarter panel on the car and make it look quite nice and neat. On the bottom there you've also got this uh, scuff plate. Um, again it's just to protect the actual door and give it a bit of a look on the side. Now opening it up, taking a look on the inside, I've got to say this car presents exceptionally well on the inside as it does on the outside. Seat bolsters are in very good condition, no stains or damage or tears that you can see and the carpet lining is in very good condition and the whole car itself still presents really well almost like new on the inner guard here where we tend to get a lot of scratches and marks very minimal wear if at all and on the door card where people can go quite lazy and kick the door open minimal wear if at all actually none at all so has been looked after really well by the previous owner which is good to know now one thing I will note is the car doesn't actually come with tint as you can see the back glass is a little bit darker what that is is privacy glass it doesn't actually provide any UV protection so do highly recommend you talk to us about our U um, tint options because again if you are using this for a family you do want to make sure they're nice and safe and protected from all different kinds of things environmental factors and also in the safe of uh, case of an accident so please talk to us about this as we come across the side paint condition is consistent all the way through there is a little bit of a scratch here that is a bit more apparent otherwise there are very few minor marks here and there but it does blend in really well with the brown color so you don't really notice anything but the car still presents really well now that second alloy Again, same stunning design, little bit, no, nope, not a mark there, just a bit of dust, but the rim itself presents really well, no damage or scratches and plenty of tread, actually pretty much brand new tyres on the back end there as well. As we come across to the tailgate, you've got your chrome Outlander badging and Mitsubishi badging in the middle there. You've also got the colour match rear parking sensors mounted along the bottom and it does come fitted with the tow bar, which is good to know if you are towing or travelling. Now, you've got four-wheel drive badging in the corner here, it's not all-wheel drive, it is actually four-wheel drive which is good to know and you've got the high mounted brake light just on that rear spoiler with your wipers and washers mounted there. Car does also come fitted with the reverse camera, it is mounted to this side of the car that does allow for that extra visibility on the passenger side where um, tend, we tend to generally knock a few things. You've also got really nice big bold tail lights, it is an LED uh, globe in there and you've also got the reverse lamp and your reflectors down the bottom. Now opening up the tailgate itself this car is a seven-seater model. Uh, does come with the genuine carpet mats and you've also got the tow tongue just on the inside. Now, nice thing about these is how easy it is to actually use the car. So to drop the back seats, just pull that latch and it drops flat. So you've got all that space in there and just to pull it back up, just pull it back up with this little lever. You've also got a bit of storage compartment underneath there for any things you might want to store underneath. Um, but I've got to say, this car actually presents really well. The condition's really good. No scratches or damage on the inside. And very neat looking car. We've also got two cup holders in the back end here and two tie down points for anything you might want to keep in the back. Closing up the tailgate. 
As we come across to the passenger side of the car, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side, which is the safe side. So in case you have to pull over for an emergency, you know you're gonna be on the safe side of the road and not in the way of any oncoming traffic. Now taking a look at that third alloy, generally this is the side that cops the most scratches and damage because it is the curb side of the car. Again, completely unmarked, no damage whatsoever, no stone chips or marks, and plenty of tread remaining on those brand new tires at the time of this video. Opening up the actual back door now, I will show you how easy it is to actually work these cars. So if I was to just release this clip here, nice and easy. Now you can drop the seat like this just to access the actual back, so very easy to access the rear seats. However, you can also just simply pull it up like that Click this forward and the seats will drop flat. So you've got all that flat boot space in the back of the car if you're, maybe you're transporting something. So again, as I mentioned before, this car is very easy to maneuver and use and it is designed to be like that. You can also move these seats forward and back if you need more room in the back or less room in the front. Closing this up, handwork on this side of the car still presents really well. No damage or marks whatsoever. Minimal, minimal scuff there, but nothing to be too concerned about. Paintwork presents really well. And that fourth and final alloy, again, completely unmarked, no damage whatsoever, and brand new tires there. So four unmarked rims present really well in a very stunning design. Brand new tires on all four wheels, good paint condition in a very unique color, and the interior just presents exceptionally well. What we're gonna do now is actually pop the hood and take a look inside. Taking a look inside the engine bay, what we have here is Mitsubishi's four-cylinder 2.4-liter Maybach petrol motor. Now, it does come fitted with a six-speed automatic gearbox. It is going to make the ride really nice and smooth, very good transition between gears, but also provide that power when you do need it. Now, this car is a five-star ANCAP rating with seven airbags, so plenty of safety for the passengers inside the car. Now, the four-cylinder produces 124 kilowatts with 220 newton meters of torque, so enough torque and power for all your payload needs, or if you've got a full load of people. Now, as I mentioned before, it is a petrol fuel tank. It does have a 60 liter capacity can run on your regular 91 fuel it does have a combined fuel consumption of 7.2 liters per 100 kilometers and an average fuel distance of about 833 kilometers off a full tank depending on how you drive and how many people you have in the car taking a look it's inside the outlander now got to say this car just presents really well on the inside there's no real marks or damage and the, the actual leather and the vinyl finish is in very good nick. The piano black gloss plate is again unscratched, unmarked. It just actually very well looked after car. Um, however, touching on some of the features, on the driver's side door, do get all your power window settings. Now your driver's side is fully automatic up and down and the rest are just your standard power windows. Above that you have your central locking control as well as your window lock just to stop anyone from playing around, playing around with the windows in the back seat. Also got your power mirror toggles and you do have a little button here that will al allow you to actually fold them in um, and fold them out just in case you're stopped on the side of the road. However, they do fold in when you do lock the car. On the right side of the dash here, you have a few little blank buttons. Maybe you want to add a tow, tow pack or whatever it might be, maybe driving lights, but you've got empty clips here. You've also got your parking sensor on and off button there, just to, maybe if they do get a bit annoying, you can turn them off. Above that, you've got a little button here that does flick through the different options in the display for your cluster. So average fuel consumption, next service, settings, and your trip A, trip B. You've also got your stability control and a little adjuster for the height of your headlights. So if you are got a bit of weight in the back and the car is tilting up a bit, you can actually angle the lights down just so you're not blinding too many people. Now coming to the steering wheel, you've got a really nice leather stitch steering wheel. Very comfortable to use, beautiful design. It's still consistent in their newer models, so it has been maintained really well. You've got your cruise control settings on the right hand side and your media controls on the left hand side as well as your call and reject and voice control for your phone connectivity. You've got two paddle shifts behind that for your sports shift system, so negative and positive, so to go up gears on the right and to go down gears on the left, you can engage that while you are in drive. Now on the right hand stock, you've got your left and right indicator, your high beam, your fog light controls, as well as your automatic headlights. So you do get dusk sensing headlights in this. You can just leave it in auto. The car's gonna decide when it needs to use it. On the left hand side, you've got your wipers and washers for your front and rear. Your front, uh, you do have an automatic setting in this again. So rain sensing, you can just leave it in that mode. The car's gonna decide when it needs to use it. Coming over to the center console, Got a really nice touchscreen head unit. It does have AM, FM radio, digital radio, CD, SD card, USB connectivity, as well as Bluetooth audio. Now, one of the nice things about this model is some people do like it, some people don't. It does actually come with inbuilt navigation. So if I was to press maps, can see you've got the maps there, which are 
which you can see we're at 20 to 32 Kangen drive and if I just open up the monitor here you can see it's got the CD uh, slot there as well as your maps and if you wanted an extra um, SD card for your music closing that up though very nice head unit very responsive good to use below that you've got your hazards your eco mode to just to save you a little bit of fuel you've got your dual climate control settings so driver and passenger have their own temperatures and all the hard buttons for your mode and fan speed and below that you've got uh, some additional storage if you wanted to keep your wallet or keys or phone um, 12 volt socket for any additional charging that you might need two generous cup holders as well as a really nice leather stitch gear shifter now if I bring it into reverse you can see the nice rear view camera that does come in this model rear bar there is quite clear and you've got the guiding lines to help guide you through put it back in the park behind that you've got a little four wheel drive button that will allow you to flick through your four-wheel drive lock, your four-wheel drive eco, and your four-wheel drive auto. So depending on the terrain that you're on or what kind of mode you want to keep it on, you can adjust it accordingly. Got a manual handbrake as well as a very comfortable leather stitch center console armrest. If I raise that up, you've got a little um, shelf here which you can just keep coins or whatever it might be. As well as additional storage underneath with a 12 volt input and a USB port for any charging that you might need. It does have grooves in here just to allow that cable to feed through uh, and if I put this back in I'll get the camera person to actually pan around the car for us just to show you the actual condition just keep really pay attention to the door cards and the linings because all the stitching is still really good the actual vinyl and the door cards are in very good nick there's no stains or fading or damage which you, you generally tend to see in cars like this roof lining is very clean no marks or scratches again seats are in very good condition um, now, you do have seat, car seat mounting points for all three of those seats in the back end there. They don't have any in the tailgate though, but the car just presents so, so well. What we're actually going to do now is jump outside and wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching the walk around video on this 2015 MY16 Outlander XLS in a four wheel drive model. Now I hope this gave you a good representation as to the condition on the outside of the car, the paintwork, the rims, but also some of the features that does come in this model. And as it is evident, the car has been maintained so well by the previous owner, especially in this unique color, um, you want to uh, protect it and preserve it. Now, if you did have any additional questions, wanted to test drive it or actually wanted to purchase it before you came in, you can do that. The number to dial is 99070555. Just before I go though, this car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. Now what that will offer you is five years additional protection up to 200,000 kilometers on 181 electrical and mechanical components of this car. It does also come with the added benefit of 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So do plan on keeping this car for a long time. There is a lot of value in this product. So please talk to us about this. In addition to that, do highly recommend you take advantage of the glass coat and tint option because that's going to give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful iron bark paintwork as well as the tint that is going to give add a lot of protection and safety for the passengers in the car. Now these are at an additional cost. However, if you are using our in-house finance, I would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who showed just some minimal diesel effector repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, please check out our Google reviews. There are 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. As I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 99070555. My name is Nathan and thank you so much for watching.